Today I want to talk about debts. Do you have debts? And do you know that debts are the number one killer of uh, all relationships, number one killer of all businesses, number one killer of everything that you can ever imagine? Debts are not good. If you can in this life that you're living in, avoid debts with all that you can. There's nothing like a good debt or a bad debt. All debt is bad. And trust you me when you hear this, because I'm telling you this in order to uh, be able to save you from a lot of hassle. Now, let me tell you, most people in today's society, they want to take uh, loans so that they can be able to, uh, let's start with one, facilitating weddings. This is one of the biggest mistakes you can ever do to yourself. You go take a loan so that you facilitate your wedding. Let's say your wedding uh, has a budget of uh, 800,000 or 1 million. You yourself, you don't have any of that money. And you want to facilitate only for one single day. I think that's one of the greatest mistakes that people do. And um, when you do this, trust you me, your whole life is going to be a mess. You're going to argue with that wife of yours because you'll be seeing and thinking that she's the cause of your problems. And uh, because you want to keep up with the lifestyle and also you want to keep up with what people saw in that wedding, it would be very difficult for you to be able to fix up uh, yourself. It is very difficult. And uh, starting a life together with someone based on loans and debts i tell you that's the worst kind of life you can do and remember one thing uh there's a difference between wedding and marriage marriage is what it's legal actually marriage is the only thing which is legal and the bible says that a man shall leave his father and mother and will be joined to his wife and the two shall become one so it's just a matter of decision you have decided this is my wife i'm your husband yeah game over all these other things are just add-ons they are just add-ons. So don't be fooled by anyone that, oh, you have to pay 50K to get married. <laughs> it's a decision. As long as God has accepted your decision, because he says, let your yea be yea and nay be nay. Okay? And also other people take loans to buy uh, cars and luxuries, family cars. You know, everybody wants to be seen. Uh, I've arrived. I'm, I'm at that car, car point of life where, you know, we are making it. But uh, when you look at people driving around nowadays, it's just loans. And let me tell you, there is no worse scenario like always running away from Shylocks and loans and banks calling. Why should you put yourself in a lot of distress over things which you can avoid? If you cannot afford a car, it usually says that if you cannot afford it twice, then my friend, leave it. If you cannot buy it twice, just know that you can't afford it. Leave it. Again, is mortgages. Mortgage means death. So you go pick a mortgage so that you have a, a house for your family. Why can't you build it slowly by slowly? Why can't you take that 20K or 50K that you're paying every month and be buying a bag of cement every month or something and start building it by yourself? Why should you be fooled into all these luxurious whatever? Because, yes, mortgages may seem to be good, but it, it, it takes away your freedom. It, it takes away your freedom and is not for two days or three days. It is for years. You will never recover from that. When you get a mortgage, trust you me, people with mortgages, they are the most stressed. Go and ask them. And the others, they take loans so that they can facilitate their lifestyle. You see people online, they are having big lifestyles. Uh, people are, you know, going for all Safari 7s and doing this and that. And you, you go and take loans to facilitate lifestyles. Others are even taking loans to facilitate sport pesas and, and all those things, betting and all. Why would you go and waste your money on things which do not make sense? Why would you put yourself in a situation whereby you have to regret? It doesn't make sense. And then the banks are always telling you, okay, we will give you a top-up loan. We will give you a top-up. They, they know very well how good you are in paying. And you know a loan, you will pay it for the rest of your life. The moment that disease of taking loans gets into you, you will take loans till your grave. 
because the moment you're almost done with uh, one loan another top-up loan is coming oh yeah we can top it up for you so that you can do something else and you can do something else you'll never be free you never you will never be free it takes away your freedom to a point that you're useless in the society all you do is work from eight to five running up and down because you can't even spend time with your children spend time with your friends and even take a holiday go somewhere you know people are always like that so that i want to save so that when i'm old when i'm 80 years or 70 years i'm going to rejoice what are you going to rejoice for five years when you cannot eat this you cannot eat meat you cannot do what you have your your you're full of injections you're dead you're it's like you're paralyzed at the end of the day what would be the reason why can't you live right now when you're when you have the energy when you have the power the strength because we have been fooled by the system that life only will begin at 75 i'm saving so that when i'm 75 i'm going to rejoice my friend and you will live a whole 75 years in a miserable way just because you want to rejoice in 75 years for only five years and then you die what's the reason so what i will tell you guys always start small and avoid quick cash quick money is the root of all problems you want to be quick 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 you see you have taken my child to this big school yeah you know he will he will uh, make it very fast than the other fools <laughs> It's like you see the other guys who are in public schools, eh, they don't understand life. Eh, I'm going to take my child. Well, what do you achieve? What do you achieve apart from just uh, piling yourself with loans and debts? And at the end of the day, even what you're going to learn in those schools is a waste of time. Teach your children what they need to learn. Teach them how to uh, how 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 to uh, do things which are connected to general life teach them how to count teach them how to speak uh, teach them social skills how to deal and interact with people and then teach them your business what what you're doing remember one thing like i spoke in the other video you can never leave you can never leave your job to your children no you can only leave a business to your children so don't invest in jobs invest in businesses invest in things that you can be able to grow yourself. Think about Bob Colimo, the one who was in Safaricom. He had many degrees and a good job at Safaricom, earning a lot of money. Did he leave that job to his children? No, he died with it. All right? So no matter how big of a job that you have and how many papers you have, that's the end. Robert Mugabe, he had almost 10 degrees. Did he leave them for his children? No. The only thing you can leave to your children is a business. Or an investment invest my african people think of yourself and love yourselves and even the bible speaks a lot of things concerning loans and it tells us why we should avoid them because in proverbs 22 verse 7 it says the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender so you want to be a slave then continue borrowing you you want to be a slave Continue borrowing. And even there's a verse here which really encourages me sometimes. In Luke 14, 28, it says, Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? People will just wake up and say, I want to buy this, I want to buy this. And they don't even have the enough money to do it. Before you start something, start think fast and ask yourself, before I buy this car, can't I start with a motorbike? Can't I start with something small and then I grow slowly, slowly? So avoid debts. Debts have made people break their families. Debts have made people uh, go mad, get confused. They don't even know what to do. Debts are the worst thing that you could ever do. Live free. Live free, my friends. Do not get anything which you cannot afford. Do not get anything on a loan, even if it's full Lisa, even if it's what, stay debt free and you will thank me later.